Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome to my studio. It's Lorette. I'm so thrilled you're here today. We're going to be working on a little something different. It's Finish It Up Friday, but honestly, I decided to take a little break from my sewing journal, do a little something different today. And it's really not a project that um, I have to do. It's just something I was inspired to do when I was watching some videos. And so I wanted to create, of course, my version. And so here I am with some lovely ladies that we're going to work with today. We're going to be making um, some journaling cards. And I'm just going to put them aside. I don't have a project for them yet. But, you know, maybe they'll inspire something. Uh, a journal or a TN or I, I don't know. It's just something I wanted to play with today. And I'm really not feeling like a really creative, complicated project, which is the sewing journal today. Um... I lost my little kitty that I've had for 14 years. She was my service kitty, and she always helped me with my blood pressure. She would climb up on my shoulder and tap me on the face and look me in the eye if, when my blood pressure was too high, and she would start meowing at me like crazy if I wasn't aware. It's something because she was always with me when she was uh, born, and um, I was there when her mama brought her to me as a newborn. Well, actually, watch her being born. She stayed in my yard, and her and her mom and her brothers and sisters, and then I kept her and found homes for the rest. So she'd been with me forever, but she'd gotten very sick, and we'd managed to care for her for a long time and um, longer than they thought. We, we got a couple of extra years. They kept saying she was going to die, but she didn't, and it was finally time to let her go. And so I'm feeling sad today and not really... Um, I wasn't going to do a video any more videos this week, but I decided, nope, get back on the horse and do it. And um, she didn't want me to do that. So here I am. All right, going to empty my little bucket and we're going to get busy here. Oh, um, I do want to do a quick share with you. I'm going to move these things off my desk because I'm not going to use every single one of these. I have a bunch of beautiful images. I've collected some things I want to use in this project. So we'll kind of just choose as we go. Um, you'll get to see my whole process because I don't really have it planned, but I do. I just chose papers and I chose some images and some fabrics to go with this, you know, um, before we got going. So that way I could not drag it out too long. I did get my order in. I pre-ordered this. This is the new Kath Holden fabric. I had seen Gail talk about it, um, and I had ordered it, God, I think we're back in December. I mean, it was a long time ago. Oh, January 4th, I ordered it, and I just got it yesterday. It's beautiful fabric. I thought maybe I could use it um, as, oh, you know, flips or tags or create some fabric tags or fabric um, clusters. So these are the the prints. They're they're really lovely. Um a lot of, a lot of images right up our alley, only in fabric. So not paper, but I work in fabric, so it's fine. Could be covers for journals too. That was my other thought. Um, this one's lovely. And so is this. Isn't this gorgeous? So I just, this was my little Etsy share. I don't think I've got anything else in that was, you know, really worth talking about. Um, I usually make a little pile of things, but this actually just came in yesterday and I, Funny, I just sent the gal a message and said, hey, you know, I it, you're supposed to get these in in April. I don't have them. You know, I want to cancel my order. And boom, there it was. And she said, no, you should have it. And I'm like, oh, looked on the porch. There it was. So uh, that I'm not going to even recommend the shop because honestly, the lady who I bought it from, I wasn't happy with the way they handled our orders. Um, just, you know, the, Probably from the messages, they were kind of snotty, so it's not... Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to show that. Um, it's not something I want to promote, you know, shopping at her store. There's lots of places, Modern Quilter and others, who were probably a lot more forthcoming with their, their clients. Um, so, you know, they probably gave them more info and they weren't snotty when you questioned, hey, where where is this you know where's my where's my order and um they didn't keep us in the loop at all about it running late they you know they use the usual covid things so i find if i don't get the kind of customer service i'd like to have then i just don't recommend someone so but there's lots of places you can get the calf holding fabrics um and i uh oh i forgot to tell you what the i think gail said in her video oh it's the flea market fresh ledgers and then ephemera and i got um half yards 
on and a fat quarter on one of them and half yards on the other because of the pre-order you could only there's only certain sizes available I should have gone where Gail went and got it there but I don't know I think they were sold out by the time I went to go get it and then that was the only place I could find it and I wasn't thrilled with them so excuse me I gotta get a drink of water here all righty let's see if I can keep it together enough to get going um Now, what we want to do is I want to pick out some pretty papers. I know I want to use this one, and, I want, and, and I'm going to kind of primarily work in blues. So, I like this one. I don't need two of those. And that one, and I want to use... I'm going in blues for these, because I know at some point I'm going to be doing a blue journal. So, I pulled a lot of blue... Um, papers. These papers are from, let me look here, Ruby and Pearl XO and also um, Sam Pool. And I think that's it. A lot of my images are the same thing. They're from there. So I have two of these. I don't need that one. I like these. I don't know how many I'll actually use. Oh, I absolutely adore this. I think I picked the picture I already want for that. That one has a very pale tint. Okay, so those are the ones. Um, these are the ones I'm not sure about. I'm going to set them off to the side. And I'm going to pick. Let me just pick this one since I, I just adore that. This one, I'm crazy about it. Let me put my, sorry, you've probably seen my elbows today. I don't know what's up with that. I've got an elbow issue. Let's see if I can find a, there's an image I want to use. I'm going to kind of, and my images come from all places. I collect, um, I collect, some of these images come from Artie Mays, some are Sam Pool, some are Ruby and Pearl, some are, um, Oh, I don't know, but I, there's a lot of places that I that I picked my images up from. So, as like I said, I collect them. I have been collecting them for a long time. Um, and you can just go out on you. You can find them on Etsy. It's real easy to do. So what I want to do is I want to make them four by six. Um, so you know your standard. Let's say four, 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 four. Four and a half, something like that. Uh, I might want to pull out my cutting, or maybe not. I don't want them to be perfect. I actually don't. I will cut off the um, white uh, border because I really don't need that. I hope all of you are well. It is Friday, and we are ready to finish up the week and move into the weekend. We still don't have our patio together. I don't know. Just too many things keep on happening. And so it's a big, huge thing to drag everything out of the shed. <laughs> it really is. We unload the whole thing and then whatever we're not going to use, we have to, you know, put back in there. So we guess my, my husband keeps putting it off. I keep asking him and, and <laughs> it isn't happening. So I don't know. I'm not going to nag him anymore than I have been. Sometimes it's just not worth it. So I do want it to be six inches tall, and I will do a hard cut on it just for for that. Oh, I want to go this way. But I am going to use my um, deckle edge because that way, uh, you know, I'm getting a good. It looks like I I, I uh, tore it. And then I want it to be four. I just love this paper. Absolutely adore it. I think this is ruby and pearl. Um, she's on Instagram. She has a YouTube channel. Oh, that really cut off a lot of that. Gosh, it makes me want to just use that and not use that. Hmm. Let me see what I think. Hmm, I like that. I think it's okay. I think it's, I, I think that's okay. We don't have to have that big old rose screaming at us, right? Anyway, as I was saying, I hope you're all well and happy and safe and maybe crafting along with me or hanging out doing something. What are you guys up to? What are you making? What projects are you working on? I always ask, but no one ever says. So 
Um, I don't know. Are you making journals? What you doing? You know, I have been. I've been working with my daughter, too, on some kits and things. And I'm trying to figure out where to put this. I'm just going to put the, the thing down next to me. I'm going to use maybe just a tiny bit of ink just on the edges of some things. Not everything. I don't want to ink it too much. That's not the idea of this project. So I'm going to use a combination of my glue and my glue stick. I missed a corner. Um, I have to grab my, my oh, wrong ink. I don't want to use that one. Wrong one. Vintage photo for this because this is Vintage Ladies. Well, yesterday, or yes, no, Wednesday, my granddaughter my, uh, graduated eighth grade. She did not have a walking ceremony. So we all got dressed up. She came to our house and we all went out. My husband took us all out to lunch at one of our favorite little restaurants in town and we ate out on the patio service was terribly slow which was just fine because we were having such a good day you know just sitting and chatting and sitting outside it was probably about 75 uh, sunny with a light breeze which was perfect it wasn't hot we were luckily the one place we go we really like because they have shade they put up shade all the way around it to give you privacy so you know because these things are now on what was the street they've closed our street our main street and put all these uh built-in outdoor restaurants with pergolas and you know patios and heating and and um gonna, there's more to this i'm just this is how we start and um so that was really fun we sat out there and we ordered lunch and chit chatted until our lunch came and then we um went back to our house and hung out and she opened her presents. I made her a little something and gave her some. Oh, that's so pretty. I don't know. I think I want her on something else. Let me see. Where did... No, I just. Oh, those are the ones I don't want. Here we go. They're over here. Um, let me see. I like her. I want to see what she's going to go on. Hmm. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, the, the thing is, these papers are so gorgeous. She could go on any of them, you know, don't you think? Oh, my gosh, that's just gorgeous. Let's see if this one, too. I really like her on here, so I think she's going to go there. So we gave her some money for the summer. And, you know, so she can get some whatever kids get, art supplies or whatever. And we made her some brownies and we hung out for a while and chatted and, and just had a really good day. It was a really good day for, for her. So she enjoyed it very much. She was thrilled though that school was over for the year because it was a tough year, you know, to have your eighth grade year, the end of your seventh and all of your eighth grade year in, you know, at home in isolation, super difficult. But she was a good sport about it and did well and 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 finished so we were we were all just so proud of her and thrilled and so now she'll go off to high school in mid-august and uh, it looks like the schools will be back open by then so that'll be awesome she can make friends and do all the school things and we're hoping they're, they're saying everything should be should be back open for the kids at full school no no limitations, so fingers crossed she would can have a real a real junior a real freshman year in, in high school. Oh, it was a good day. We had a we had a very very good day. All right, so let's do that. And Thursday is just kind of a eh day rested quite a bit just haven't as i told you i hadn't been feeling great and stress of losing my kitty has been hard on all of us my other two kitties who live in the house with her um, are very upset and distressed especially tommy he always followed her around like she was his mama they're just five and she was 14 so they they thought she was her mommy and she wasn't 
Tommy get too friendly with her, try to try to you know nurse or whatever, and she'd like smack him away. <laughs> like no, sorry, dude, I'm not your mama. Um, so he's really taken it hard, and um, Misty's just she put herself to bed last night early. She went to her bed and laid down and early, early, and didn't didn't make a peep until this morning. So they seem a bit better today. They're not so. Not so sad, so. I don't know what we're doing this weekend. Um, my son and his children were supposed to be here this week, but they couldn't leave. They had a water leak and had to, they're having to remodel a bathroom, so they haven't been able to get out here. We, the project is stalled or whatever. I don't know what's going on. So they didn't come out, so I'm bummed, but you know, it is what it is. All right, so th that one's done. And let's see, what's some, oh, I love her. I want her on something. So she needs to be something very elegant, don't you think? Sweeping and elegant. Oh, pretty, I like that. Let's see. Oh, that overtakes her, I don't care for that. Let's see, what else have I got? I actually love that too, that I just used. This was very pretty. Possibly there. Let me see what else I've got. Mm -hmm. I like this a lot. This is vintage wallpaper. Uh, these are vintage wallpapers. Um, some of these, not all of them. Mm. This is a true vintage wallpaper. So actually one I have, and I made a copy of it. I got that one. I think this one. I know you're probably all like, no, no. <laughs> As I always imagine you guys doing, you're so fun. A few of you will say that to me and say, yeah, I was thinking the same thing. And then I got to kind of see where that four and a half is because I want the flowers in there and I'm getting a feeling that where I'm going to have to cut it, there won't be any. Mm, what if I go four and a half on this one? Just make it a little bit bigger part. Sorry, I went quiet there. Forgot what I was doing. <laughs> Forgot where I was. Yeah, I don't know. What, what What are you guys doing this weekend? I don't know what we're doing. I, usually we kind of have a plan for our weekends, I guess, would be to get the table out because I know I would like uh, Jolene and the girls and I to start, you know, doing something this next weekend. It's next week. Um, getting kits together and things, or things together for kits. But I know Jolene and I have a ton of prep work before we can bring the girls in. We've got to decide what's going in the kits, what paper she's going to do for the kits. I kind of gave her a heads up what I would like to see. Um, so I do like the corners rounded on my, a lot of them come that way. So I just wanna make sure they're all rounded on this. I'm going to be doing three or four other things to this so that it's not just this boring part unfortunately this is the part that you know could be a little bit tedious I guess yeah. but I feel like it's kind of necessary to get where you want to go I was really sad we we were not giving my granddaughter a, a graduation party but being with the pandemic and everything, it just kind of didn't feel the same. 
as I did when my kids, both my kids had huge graduation parties when they graduated eighth grade. We had big old family and friends and oh, and we went house to house, party to party, even just eighth grade, sixth grade too, eighth grade course senior year. That a, was a big one, but we celebrated everything with our kids. So our whole life was our children. We and all of their friends adopted us as adopted parents. So we always had a house full of children. Always, always. Everybody in the neighborhood came and played at our house. All the kids came to our house. And that one's a little wider, but I think that's just, let me look. Um, what did I do with my, okay, am I losing my mind? Didn't I bring out a measure, that ruler? Where did I put the ruler? Oh, it's under all this mess. Four and a half. Well, I think four and a half is as wide as you would want to go. There is some room, but once I, mm, I have to decide right now if I'm going to cut it down. Mm. I'm not sure. I hate to cut off that writing. I really do. Oops, it moved on me. Got to really hang on to this on, on this cutter. It, it um, grabs it and just like... There we go. Um, and maybe we could just take a tiny bit off of this side. Just a little. I don't want to lose that flower. I like, I love that with her. I just thought she was such an elegant. I think she's princess. Hmm. I forgot. I want to say Caroline, Caroline of Hungary or something like that. I don't know my world, my world history that well. All right, so those three. Let me work on a couple more. I was thinking about doing about six and then I would go back and decorate. Where'd my other ones go? I had a lot of pictures here. I have a one that's the flappers. These are ruby and pearl, no. No, these are um, pink monarch prints. These are pink monarch prints. Maybe we'll do one of these. Let's see if any of what I picked out would look good with that because that will make the determination. If nothing looks great with these, then... Actually, that's not too bad. Let me see what we could do with this one. Um, I know I'm going to want to clip the corners. Let's corner around that. Corner around that. Oh, whoops. These things can be so tricky, you know? And then they fill up, and if you don't empty them, you end up with stuff all over your table. So anyway, I was thinking about all the graduation parties and parties we used to throw. We were the house that everybody came to. When it was prom time, all the kids came to our house and took pictures. We had kind of a novelty wall around our, it was kind of a raspberry hand-painted wall um, around our fireplace. So everybody wanted to come and take their prom pictures there because their houses all had white walls and they're, you know, being the artist I am, I, um, oh, how big did I say these were before? Why am I struggling with this? Oh, so I want it to be four, not four and a half. Okay, that's why I'm struggling. So being the artist I am, I always had a colorful home. The other kids didn't, so they always wanted to come to our house to take all the pictures. And we would get all of my son's friends. Their families came, took the pictures inside our house. <laughs> it was a fun time. I, I miss those days. We just had a great time with our kids in high school. And like I said, everybody came to our house to hang out, play. When they ran away from home, they ran away to our house. <laughs> I called more mothers to say, nope, don't worry, they're here. I'll send them back. Just let me get them all calmed down. 
some of the kids really, they didn't have good homes. And so we took a few in for a while at times. And to this day, many of them still call me mom. So it's kind of cool. Let me just see this edge. Just barely. I mean, just barely. There we go. This this little cutter here has a dull spot in it where it's just flat where there isn't any ridge. So I have to be careful where I cut it or I have to recut a couple of times because it doesn't give me the torn look I'm looking for. Of course, I could have folded and torn all of these, but not feeling like expanding that much energy today. ended up uh, covering more than I, I thought we were going to. But I don't want to do the four and a half because I just think uh, a four by six is plenty big for a journaling card because I still need to back this. I'm going to back these even because some of these are just on light paper and I don't feel like there's enough. I mean, it's I think it's too wimpy to just use some of this is card and some of it isn't. So... Okay, so we have four. I'd like to do two more. Let's see. Let's see what else I've got here. What would look good for her? I don't know if I have anything that's flapperish. This kind of looks like a flapper could be on it, yeah? Mm, what else have I got? I've got this one. Oh, hello, I'm throwing paper everywhere. I hope I like that. Oh. I could do maybe the music. Hmm. Nope, I think my first instinct, as I always say, is usually the right one. I'm going to move these ladies for a minute. Um, Got it get the six inches that I want. This is a really great project. You can use any images. It could be flowers. It could be whatever you want. I just chose the ladies. I love working with these and eventually I am going to, you know, do some kind of journal with them. So, all right. I'm not sure what they're going to end up in. You just, you just never know. Oh wait, which which lady was I using? Was I using this one or this one? Um, which one did I say I was gonna use? Oh, I think I like her. I'm gonna use her. Let me get her ready. She's got a little bit of white showing. I'm gonna cut that off. Oh, there we are. I may. I mean, I could. Let's see. How white is this? It's almost the full width. Eek. Let me cut this first to see where we're at. I think that's what I need to do. Yeah, before I went and cut the corners, I realized I need to cut the, the picture down quite a bit. I don't really want that. Whoop. I guess I could use the rough cut. It would be okay. How about, let's see, what do we want to get cut off over here? I don't think we need quite that much door. Like, just not necessary, you know what I mean? It's a beautiful door, though. All right, that's better. Now I'll clip my corners. You know, before I do that, I, I just, I think to make it look consistent, I mean, I don't have to, but
Now let's, I'm still gonna round the corners. This one definitely has a different look to it. Oh, I do have to cut off the, uh, the uh, straight edges here. You'll see why in a few minutes. There's all this, all my, there's a method to my madness and you will see what that is in just a second. I got, I'm so happy you're all enjoying the uh, ring bound sewing journal that I'm working on. But like I said, I decided to take a little break today and um, I'll be back to it next week. I also, not everyone's excited about it. So I wanted to give those of you who are not really into that project a chance, but I, I do have some different things I'm going to be doing inside the journal. It's not, you know, you've seen the basics of it, but there is more coming. That isn't your standard things, you know, so got lots of good comments on that and thank you everyone for answering my questions and oh I apologize to those of you who commented on Friday's video or no mm, Wednesday's video sorry uh, I haven't had a chance to comment back to everyone we've had a had a rough day and then we had a busy day so I just haven't had the opportunity to get back and, and comment to all of you but I will I, I probably today when I'm take a little rest in a while and I lay down for a bit I'll um I'll answer my comments and oh my gosh my email is just hugely backed up I probably have 75 email I haven't even opened let alone the ones that are open but I have to still deal with so good thing my daughter's managing my Etsy shop or the Etsy shop because I just don't I don't have the time I haven't had time to post on my Instagram either but I will I will get back over there um, cause that one's very important to me as well. Let's see. So what do we have? We have five here. One, two, three, four. No, we only have four. Jesus is slow. I love this lady. I've used her a number of times in several of my journals, but she's one of my favorites. I think these two are the ones I want to use. So let's pick out some papers that would look lovely with them. She's got all these sprigs of flowers. So I'm thinking... This might be the one for her. And this one, she's very elegant too. So let's see. I, I was thinking maybe this one for her. Yes. Okay. I got it. Let's get out the cutter. Oh, oh, dear. Throwing my pictures all over my desk. And I want to thank everyone for commenting and um, for watching my channel. I, I so appreciate it. Welcome to all of you who are brand new. And guess what, ladies? Uh, today, last time I looked, we were at 505. Our little community is growing like crazy. I can't believe it. In just two months' time, we've we've hit the 500 mark. I'm super thrilled. Um, wow. I never... I thought it'd take me years to get this far, but thanks to some wonderful supportive ladies um, like Gail and others who, and Amy and Doreen and um, Robin, I, you guys have been just, well, okay, what did I do wrong here? Is she six inches tall? Oh, she is. Uh-oh. Hmm. Oh my gosh, and I only had one piece of that paper too. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. I wasn't paying attention. Well, we'll make her a tall, narrow tag, right? We could do that. Uh, we could do anything we want. Sometimes we need bigger tags than six inches. I wish I would have thought about that and gave it a little bit bigger. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. Okay. Well... If we do the four, I guess four will be okay still. That's what you get for talking. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. So we were talking about all, welcome to all my new subscribers. I'm so thrilled you're here and hope you are enjoying my channel. And 
<sighs> nope, that's supposed to be her. So actually that works. Were you guys yelling at me? I thought I heard you go, hey, hello. Hello, that's not for her. This one's for her. And that's the right size. I need to do one for this. <sighs> so we will make her a bit taller. <clears throat> Let's see, what do we need? I am really thrilled that my, my channel is growing so much and you know, we're, we're getting bigger. Uh, so now that we've hit <clears throat> the 500 mark, all of, all of you that have been commenting prior to this are going to be entered into my drawing. My husband and I are tracking. You must be a subscriber to enter, and uh, it'll be probably a week or so before I get to that, but I will write myself a note and say, hey, you're having a drawing. Pay attention. And um, I'm trying to figure out which side I want this on. Hmm. This she covers up quite a bit no matter what I do. Let me see where we are at four. We may go to the four and a half. She's a bigger girl here. Yeah, four is probably okay. We'll just keep it there. All right. I will definitely keep all these um, cuts in a in a together because if I do a journal, <clears throat> then I'll have wonderful little um, pieces. Oh shoot! I moved that. Hold on. I don't really can't really afford to lose too much off the bottom here. There we go. She's tall. She's a tall one. She's a tall one. But yes, I will be doing a drawing. And for those of you who have been commenting and have been around forever, even my new people. But you had to have, unless you're like brand brand new, and even if you're brand brand new, you'll make it in. But uh up to today. Up to when we hit the 500 so um the cutoff for that will be friday when you see this that's going to be our our cutoff for whoever's in whoever has been commenting or has commented um and is a subscriber and been and been hitting the like the like on the video not on the comments but on the videos you have to like the video and are a subscriber in order to get into our drawing and I'll make something lovely for you. Others have one so they know. I know what I want to do. I just haven't had a chance and um but now that we've hit that mark, I just really didn't think we would get there for a little while, so I wasn't worried about it, but now I need to get busy. Now I need to get busy and you all will Be in that drawing. Okay. Yeah, I gotta finish. I just realized I was looking at the clock and I gotta keep going so we can do the rest of this. So, might have took a little too much time. Oh, I don't think I did. I mean, I'm really not in the mood to be in a hurry. I think I need my um, fabric tech for this next part. Oh, I had so many beautiful images and I just, you know, I'm not gonna get to them. 
I may do more off camera and just, I want to make a whole bunch and just put them aside. Now comes the next part. Alrighty. So I think we're done with this part. I'm going to move aside all the things I'm not using at the moment. Oh gosh. Got a few scraps here. Start a new scrap bag. Okay, now comes the rest. I'm going to be doing some sewing on these, but that will be off camera. And then I'll be back to show you in one of my other videos. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a piece of lace or um, netting over them. To create kind of a, a light, filmy, sort of dreamy look. Like we're in a dream. We could do lace, like it depends on how much, how bright your image is. Now that image is not bright, so I don't want to use that much. Um, but I'm thinking I do want to use this one to get my fabric scissors. Oh, I do have, like I have this really pretty um, kind of a... Yeah, I got an idea for this one. I'm trying to do it so it doesn't cover her face. Ah, there we are. There we are, there we are. I'm going to put that over here for a minute. Sometimes one just jumps off the table at you and says, do me first. No, me first. So that's what I'm doing. This one's first. Mm. Hold on, these are a pain to use, which is why I put all this junk on here, but still. So I don't use them on my paper. Oh, sorry about my head. It's probably in the camera. I'm trying to see and cut and do the whole works. Alrighty, so she's getting that little bit right there. And I think I'm just going to put... Oh boy, it's going to be one of those sticky finger days, isn't it? Um, let me see. Get out a couple of things. It's going to be some sticky fingers here by the time I'm done. could just do it across the top and leave it as a flip up. Yeah, maybe I'll do that for now. And then if I, you know, if I, I can decide if I want to stitch around, if I need more glue, maybe we could do that. That will also take a lot less time. Then go back and trim around it if it's hanging over too much. Hmm, doesn't feel like anything came out. Let me try that again. Yeah, maybe I'll just dot some glue on here. And then go back and stitch around them or not. Kind of just depends on how I feel about it. For those of you who are new, I use this little spatula to keep the fabric tack, you know, off my hands so much. Oh, I moved just enough, kind of went over her face, but not completely. I mean, you can still see her. All right, so that's the first one. Here's the second one. Let's get a piece of netting for her it's hard to see I don't even know if the camera will pick this up you guys if you're if you're seeing it or not but not easy to cut either sorry I have to pick it up a little bit to see it make sure it's actually on there is it on there tilt it to the light I guess yeah all right put bits of it there. Just bits. I'm 
Yeah, I'll probably go stitch it down at some point here. Come on. Fiddly. As Miss Tina at Shabby Dabby Doo Dah would say, fiddly. Okay, she has hers. And now these are very dark, so I would think these two could handle a piece of like lace over them. Hmm. Except that their faces are so tiny that you end up kind of losing their faces in it. I don't like that. That's too heavy. Oh, that's too heavy. Let me see. I find that what I have is too, too heavy not on that one. Not that one. Not that one. I'm throwing things on the floor. <laughs> uh, no one else is in here right now. I'll have to clean up before the cats come in. I do have this one. This one's pretty. Well, I find that I don't have like really sheer lace like I would like to have. I mean, I thought this would work, but it's not sheer enough. Hmm. I thought for sure this one would work, but it doesn't. I wish I had Swiss Dot or something like that. Yeah, everything is just too heavy, too much pattern in my lace. I thought for sure I had something that would work. Um, so it doesn't look like I'll be using lace at this point because I can't find one that's, um, let me see something, I'll take this off camera for just a sec. Now, I don't like that it covers them up so much. So. Here's one that I was hoping would work. Yes, this one works. Okay, this works. And it's got a cool print on it that would make it, you know, very um, kind of flapperish. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to, uh, because I'm, I'm watching my time and I say I'm going to run out of time here really quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish up the last two. And once the, the paper's on, I mean the fabric or lace is on, then we're going to take a paper clip. And we are going to take some either bits of lace or ribbon or um, I'm going through my lace box here. I'm throwing lace on the floor along with everything else that I've got. Like, the goal is to take this, put it on the paper clip. Um, ugh, I don't need that. Take the paper clip, put a little tie on it. Go like this. I think that paper clip, clip must be sprung. Actually, I just realized before I can even do that, I need to put some backing paper on here before I get going. This is just a, a deli paper or packing paper. I don't even know. Okay, put on the floor. I want to finish one before I sign off here. Um, let 
let me Uh-oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Well, okay, this project is not becoming very successful, I can tell you that. Oh, gosh. Oh, let's just do this. These are supposed to be very vintage, very natural, very scruffy, kind of, you know, not particularly elegant, um, but elegant. You know, it's kind of a... Then we add a pretty um, piece of embossed paper. about that that was really noisy goodness gracious with a little bit of ink put that under there I like that and then we add a little maybe a little ticket of some kind like as if she was going to a dance or had been to one let me see if I can add one here cut one out real quick Okay. I don't, we're not going to finish them, obviously, on camera, but you get the idea. They're just a nice little journaling card that have some beautiful ladies on them. They can go into your sewing journals or into any of your vintage journals, especially if you're doing anything in the blue. Oh, and there you have it. Isn't that pretty? Just a nice little, hmm, I'm going to have to fix that, I can tell. But, uh, you know... Maybe put something else on the back. I'm not liking that paper back there. So I may have to get a different paper for the back of that. But uh, I thought that one would work, but I don't think it's going to. So there's that one. Let's see. We have a little time. I'll see if I can work on this one a bit. Um, let's put... I'm trying to figure out what I want to put on the back of that. I mean, I think that paper's okay. It's just that piece was so badly wrinkled. Let me just glue this one on here. Blue is very soft today. I don't know what's up with that. I mean, it's, it's, it hasn't been all that warm. It's just been in the, you know, high 70s, low 80s. Not particularly crazy out. I want to leave kind of a little brown edge. And I thought maybe ripping it would give it a different texture, but I let's try again. As I told you, I'm not all that successful with ripping. It's why you always see me with the um, cutter. Because I just... I don't have the success I would like to have with that. Let's try again. This paper, I, it's, I didn't think it was so thick. It's really thick and it does not want to rip. Oh my goodness. Well, that was a horrible job again. I should have just stuck to my um, cutter. <laughs> so I think that's probably what I'm going to do. <laughs> Yikes, what a nightmare. Okay. And that was a mess and a half. Let's not do that again and say that we did. There, we'll do that. 
Oh, what happened there? That didn't cut. There we go. Okay, there's that one. Not a very smooth writing surface, so there's a good chance I'm going to um, recover those with something else, and then I'll just leave that, that paper edge around. It'll just become another layer, because I kind of like this sort of wrinkled up, you know, curled up, as if it's been curated over time. You know, it's not new. Let me see if I can get us a paper clip here. And a little piece of ribbon. Um, let's see, what do we have? This has a pretty little... Let's see if I can get it onto the paper clip. I just kind of want it to be like a little scrap. As if it's from her dress. And then we could put a little bit of the embossed papers. Put a little ink on it just to age it up a bit. Maybe it came out of a pretty program or something when she went to the dance. Or went to a dance. And let's get a little... Let's see what we've got. I'm lucky to see how big that is so that I see how much room I might have for a little ticket. I do have a sheet of tickets here. I think these are either Tracy Fox or um, Artie Mays tickets. I know I have both their ticket kits. I also have um, Caroline's Craft Tree, I want to say. So, where I get my, my tickets from. Sorry, ladies, my voice is really raspy today. I want to thank you all for watching today, coming out and spending some time with me. I really, really appreciate it. I am so thrilled when you guys come and hang out with me. Well, there we have it. Two beautiful little cards. At least these are done. And we will finish the others exactly the same way with either ribbon or lace or something. You know, we'll, we'll figure out what we're going to put over them. But so the next time I come on and do a video, I'll show you these completed. But these are just a nice little journal card that you can stick into one of your books or something. Um, so I really appreciate y'all hanging out with me today. And um, I hope that you have a fabulous Friday and a really wonderful, wonderful weekend. And I'll see you all next week on Make It Monday. And hopefully, I think we'll either be working on a journal or I'm pretty sure we'll be working on our journal. But I, I you know, you never know. You never know with me. So thanks for watching. I will see you all very soon. I love you guys. Hugs and kisses. Bye-bye.